Let's face it, in our industry, radio hits happen sometimes. It can be caused by a multitude of problems. Location, distance, a neighboring crew creeping into our frequencies. Whatever the situation is, it can be a burden. It makes you have to move closer to set, ask for an additional take, or even change your frequencies between takes in order to salvage your audio for the remaining takes. Wouldn't it be nice to end all of this frustration? Well, now you can. The TRX wireless system has a complete backup recorder built into every transmitter that is fully time code capable, either by manually jamming or even wireless sync via the IFB100. More on that later. Whenever you have a hit, you can go back to the transmitter and play back the files recorded to ensure that the audio is there and in pristine condition. Each transmitter records onto a mini SD card, which can easily be found online or at any electronic store. Because the transmitters use MARF recording technology, the same as used in the Diva and Fusion recorders, you have the ability to record up to 96 continuous hours of audio on one card. Let's take a look at these features in more depth. But first, just like any other media, we need to format the card to prepare it for recording. Please note that doing so will erase the audio currently on the card to allow its use with the TRX wireless system. Start with the unit turned off. Insert a Zaxcom approved mini SD card into the media slot of the transmitter. Enter the extended menu. Press menu repeatedly until you reach the track name page. Here you can use the up or down key to select letters in order to name the transmitter. Pressing menu will advance the cursor to the next column. I label this transmitter Howie. Now, when transferring the files away from the mini SD card, you will notice that the tracks have the name in the file. This ensures that after formatting, the folder and the metadata of the track will have the same track name. Now, hold menu to skip back to the beginning of the extended menu. Then, press menu nine times to enter the Media Erase and Format page. It will ask you to press the Up key five times to ensure that you want to format the media inside of the unit and are not accidentally erasing something that you don't intend to. After pressing Up five times, the unit will start to format the card. When it is done, it will display Success, Reboot, and the amount of megabytes on the card. Restart the transmitter. Once the unit has been restarted, you will notice that the device automatically goes into record. These units are always set to record automatically by default. On the pacifier page, you will either see Record or L Record. We will learn how to change these record modes in a moment. Press menu three times to enter the transport control page. This page allows you to access the files on the card via the transmitter. The top line describes your transport mode as well as the time code of the file that you are currently on. The bottom line describes what segment the transmitter is currently on, whether recording or playing back a file. Since we just showed you how to format the mini SD card, you will notice that the mini SD card is currently recording segment 1. So, for this example, we're going to place a different mini SD card inside the transmitter that has pre recorded segments on it in order to show you all of the functions. To stop the transport from playing or recording, press the down key. Pressing down again will decrement the segment number. Pressing up will play back the current segment. Pressing up during playback will cause the playback to skip ahead a few seconds to help you locate a specific part of the playback file. Holding the up button will increment the segment number. When playing a file, the transmitter will override the audio entering into the unit via the microphone cable or the stereo adapter and transmit the audio playing off of the card. Watch. 
This transmitter is currently playing segment number one. Press menu to advance to the timecode frame rate page. This page allows you to adjust the frame rate of the recording on the mini SD card. Adjust the frame rate to your specific settings. Each transmitter has its own built-in timecode reader generator. With a freshly formatted media card, the timecode will begin at zeros. When power is cycled, the timecode will begin from where it is left off on the last file recorded. It is important to jam the device from a timecode source in order to keep them in sync with your recorders or cameras. To manually jam your TRX transmitter, go to the extended menu. Press the menu key 10 times until you reach the timecode jam mode page. This page allows you to select how the wireless system will jam timecode. Select Manual Off. This allows the machine to be jammed manually. Press menu one more time to reach the timecode source page. This page allows you to select how the transmitter receives incoming timecode. Select either the side connector or the audio input, depending on if you're using the TRX in a mono or stereo mode. Restart the transmitter. Connect the timecode source to it using a proper jam cable. Notice the screen will display timecode reader, read. Then it will display jammed segment. Now, let's select the proper record mode for our purposes. In the extended menu, press menu repeatedly to go to the recording mode page. The available choices are loop record or non-loop record. Non-loop record means that the recording will continue until the disc is full, and then it stops. At that point, the record status on the pacifier page changes to full. Immediately to the left of record is the remaining recording time on the current card. Loop record means that the recording will continue until the card fills up, then it begins to record over the audio at the beginning of the card. This will continue until the battery dies or you manually stop recording. Now you know how to record onto the TRX wireless system. Happy mixing and recording.